number 12. I said before, this was a complex race. There was the threat of weather, but it did not eventuate. It was wet right at the top of the day. And there were showers all around. But a great initial clean jump off the front row of the grid for Jamie Wincup. Shane Van Gisbergen didn't go anywhere. And over the top of the hill, there was a bit of madness. Scott Pye, Richie Stanaway, Mark Winterbottom, James Golding, cars going every which way, a lot of damage. So we've had relatively clean opening laps in the recent past, but not today. This was a moment between Hazelwood, Tander and Golding. Big damage on the front of the Wilson security car. The Gary Rogers Motorsport for the young rookie. And when he was buried in the sand, out came the Vodafone safety car and in came pretty much the entire field with the exception of Will Davison. So it turned the pit lane into a massive congestion. There's the restart with Will Davison in the Milwaukee racing entry. And off he went. But that car was hurt in a push and shove with Michael Caruso early in the game. There was a massive amount of Dunlop Supersoft tyre off the racing line today, so it was very slippery and there were mistakes made at Turn 3. When people got wide out there, they left off the top of the hill out in the grass and were lucky not to clob a cars right here at Turn number 4. Got to say a big shout out for everybody at Erebus, Penwright, and in the cockpit of the car, David Reynolds and his engineer, Alistair McFain, because they pulled that one out of the fire again this weekend. They turned that car's performance around very, very strong. Craig Lowndes and James Courtney have had a terrific battle throughout the race, Autobahn versus Mobile One Boost Mobile. But Scotty McLaughlin held the margin to the end, a heart-stopping moment for David Reynolds, who ran wide after 200 kilometres of racing into the sand and got away with it. It meant, in the end, the gap was 7.9 seconds. Lowndes, for a moment, may well have got to second placing there. But McLaughlin's done it. It's an amazing comeback from so far down the order. And next up, we go to Winton.